in the Edit Toolbox, you will find Double Run and Blackwork Run. Double Run is used to reinforce outlines, and Blackwork Run will join selected outlines to form a single grouped outline with no jump stitches for connecting outlines. Let's first look at Double Run. Select the object and then click on Double Run. The running stitch will stitch in one direction, then will stitch in the opposite direction. Double run is usually used to make running stitches thicker, but it can also be applied to filled object. I'll select this lace fill object and click on double run. If you click on show objects, you'll see that each of the objects has been duplicated. Blackwork Run is used to sequence outlines for an efficient stitch out. Most outline stitches can be used except for Pattern Run, Blackwork Border, Candle Wicking Border, Sculptured Run, and Zigzag. Remember, to see jump stitches, you have to be in Design View. To apply Blackwork Run, select the objects and then click on Blackwork Run. If you wish to tell the software where to begin the stitching, click on that point in the design. If you want the software to decide where to begin, press Enter. And you'll see that there is just one jump stitch from the center out to the start of the design. The software figures out the pathing of the design so that, so that jump stitches will not be created. To get rid of the jump from center out, you can go to the Design menu, select Auto Start and End, change the Start Needle position to the first stitch of the design, the End Needle position to the last stitch of the design, and click OK. And you'll see that there are now no jump stitches. You cannot ungroup a Blackwork Run design. You instead have to activate Break Apart, and your jump stitches will reappear. If you have multiple colors of objects, like we did in this design, and activate Blackwork Run, the objects will take the color of the first object in the sequence.